Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw Review with your boy. For the first time in how long? I don't know. Welcome guys. I am Boy What to Be Thank you for watching this video. Now I'm gonna review Monday Night Raw. Now the see you see the thing is I watched tonight's show. When I got home from work, right? I got home from work early. And when I got home I I was chilling. I realized I can't watch Raw on TV for the moment, so I was able to find way to to watch Raw, you know, by parts, but still it was got good parts, right? And guess what? Guess what? Monday Night Raw starts off with Roman Reigns and Lana. I'm like, okay. So Lana challenges Roman uh, for Rusev's U.S. title rematch, and I'm thinking to myself, first of all, didn't you have a rematch last week, and you and you ruined it in a double countout? I mean, what, what what's going on with that? You know, that's one. And number two, I knew that this was going to happen. Hell in a Cell, inside Hell in the Cell match, Roman Reigns versus Rusev for the United States title. I'm not going to trash on that match yet because I wasn't looking forward to Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns last year. And they and he killed it. So who knows? Rusev and Roman could kill it at Hell in Um... Tonight's show, I mean, Sami Zayn competed against Tyler Sunil. I mean, that match was not necessary, but okay. Um, you know, there were so many things on the tonight show. Three hours, for God's sake. Three hours is just too long, but okay. Um, you know, when it's pay-per-view, you have three hours of your time to watch. When it's a weekday, forget about it. You know, forget about it. But, um... What else happened on the show? Gallows and Anderson, Corey Graves trying to hype him up, saying, oh, you know, they've been running rough shot. I'm like, when did they ever run rough shot at Raw? <laughs> what, what, when? Like, seriously. I mean, I get, I get what you're doing, Corey. I respect you for that. But what, 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 since when did they run rough shot on Monday nights? Since when? You know? But, um, I mean, I mean, the club lost to the New Day twice in a 24 hour period. Alright, so I, 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 I just can't take them serious. Um, the New Day were chat. No, let me tell you this. Jericho and Kevin Owens and Ashley Kutcher and his friend. And in the New Day later on, those were the absolute best minutes of, my, of tonight's show I have ever had. I swear to God. They were the funniest promos I ever, I ever watched. This week on Raw, like everybody say, Raw was good. Have pe pe like tonight, people are giving Raw a ha like half. You know, it's like half. It's like it's like a John Cena reaction. You know, it's split. It's like people half of the people say, "Oh, Raw was good. Raw was great." You know, Sasha killed it. Blah blah blah. And uh, the other other people was like, "Fuck Raw. Raw made me Raw made me sleep. Uh, uneventful shit like that." So to me, watching uh, it was, it's 50-50 to me. It's like it's like okay, it's watchable, but everything else sucked. Sami Zayn, I love Sami Zayn. When I see Sami Zayn, I, I I bump, I I freaking have fun when his entrance comes through, right? When Title Snow came out, I'm like, switch back to that theme song you had last year or two years ago when you were a heel. Cause that song was the shit, I swear. But um, yeah, I mean that match was just pointless. Um, the the club defeating I don't know who, Cesaro and Sheamus. Those guys are hilarious to me. I'm just sitting there, I'm like, this reminds me of Brian and Kate it's so hard, <laughs> but I love it. You know, Cesaro and Sheamus, they're mid, they're like neck and neck. You know, they're like they're close. They're not you know like one's better than the other. They're like equal. In a, in a way, you know, but tonight's show was great, uh, in my opinion, Raw was decent, way better than last week, and better than two weeks ago, simple as that, but, you know, just watching it, it's like, alright, so Raw, you know, I mean, Roman Reigns coming out, and I, I didn't watch the promo exactly, I watched the promo with him and Lana on YouTube, and it just cut straight to that, so I'm like, okay, alright, um, they're just talking and stuff. Rusev and Ru and Roman had another fight. I'm like, 
Here we go again, right? Rusev locking out with the U.S. title of Roman Reigns out of nowhere when the Superman hose drops Rusev, and he's like, we're going to have a Hell in the Cell match. You want your... You see, if I was Roman Reigns, I would have messed around. I would have been like, all right, if you want a rematch that bad, all right, I feel like I'm like the hottest chick in school, and like prom is coming up, and like every dude try to get to me. Pause on all this shit I'm about to say. <laughs> but like, they have to do one thing just to get what they want. So, what I would have done if I was Roman Reigns, I would be like, all right, you want your rematch that bad? Um, you have, you will get your rematch between tonight and Hell in the Cell. But I get to dictate when that will happen. Now, tonight, I'm in a good-ass mood. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a chance. If Rusev beats his opponent tonight, tonight, I don't care if his leg's broken, his ankle shattered, his teeth is out. I don't care if he has a blinded eye. I don't care if his right eye is bleeding. I don't give a damn if he's bleeding from his forehead. If Rusev defeats his opponent tonight, you will get your United States Championship rematch later on tonight. I would have done that. And then after, like, I would have been like, like, Roman Reigns should have been like, later on. And you're like, all right. So, yeah. So, once that happens, if Rusev beats his opponent, he gets his U.S. title rematch later on. But if he does not get, if he does not get the win tonight, if he does not beat his opponent, then he's going to have to wait. A couple more days, a couple more days until, you know, he gets his rematch for the U.S. title. That's what I would have done. Fuck around with it a little bit more. Keep extending it, extend, extending it, you know, keep making it go, go all longer. Keep going, keep going. And then when it's like three weeks left or three weeks or two or one week left, you know, then I would be like, you know what? Your official rematch will be at Hell in the Cell inside Hell in a cell. We're gonna go to hell, Rusev. And I'm gonna take you and Lana with me. And I'm coming back to Earth with the United States Championship. I know that's cheesy, but something like that. You know, yeah, around there. But you, you get my point, right? Like, I would have messed around with it. Like, the challenger wants something from me. So I will fuck around with you until... It is time to be serious. That's what I would have done. But, you know, WWE, you got to go out straight out straight out the gate. You know, be like, all right, you get your US title match at Hell in the Cell. That's it. Blah. Like, you know, like, uh, come on. So, Rusev. Sorry. Uh, no. Rollins. Seth Rollins had his interview with Michael Cole. Rollins said the usual stuff, you know. Um, him and Kevin Owens, you know, what they accomplished is identical. But... How they did it is is separate. It's like their own identity in a way, right? Shit like that. Said stuff like that. He gonna burn Raw to the ground. Stuff like that. Blah blah blah. You know all that stuff. All the good stuff that a babyface should say. You know stuff like that when they try to get revenge on a heel and stuff. Yeah. So, but Rollins, what he did later on. I'm gonna get to that just now. Hold on. Uh. So what happened on tonight's show? What else happened? Uh, I don't, I can't remember off the top of my head. I really can't. I watched, I skipped a lot. <laughs> I skipped a lot. Um, oh, the Cruiserweights, the Cruiserweights, um, the Cruiserweight. Uh, I thought the Cruiserweight title was on the line, but it wasn't. TJ Perkins with his dab and his, uh, I don't know what it's called, you know, where he swishes his hands and he does that, that, you know, that elbow to the knee, that shit, right? Um, like, he comes out, he has his match with Brian Kendrick. I thought it was for the Cruiserweight title. And when Brian Kendrick made him tap out in the captain's hook, I'm like, oh, shit, we have a new champion. And then I realized Cole said, oh, Brian Kendrick beat the champion. I'm like, wait a minute, we don't have a new champion? Wait, the title's on the line? What? Didn't you advertise that last week? You're like, oh, the Cruiserweight title's going to be on the line. Uh, on Monday Night Raw in Los Angeles, Kendrick versus Perkins. Uh, like, what? <laughs> am I the only one that thought that? <laughs> like, am I the only one? I think I'm the only one. Um, so yeah, that happened. Rich Swan versus Tony Nese. I, uh, 
you know, I watch Rich Swan's entrance, you know, can you handle this, 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 you know, you know I watched his entrance, his entrance is hilarious, and then, you know, Tony Nese came out, generic as fuck, and after I skipped a little bit, of course, and I got to the end, I'm like, okay, alright, uh, that, that's, that's, okay, Tony Nese won with a pump handle Michinoku driver. That's what they should have called it. But it just looked like a pump handle set out power slam. That's what it looked like. But to me, it's a pump handle Michinoku driver. If any WWE officials watching this, take notes. Hire me. I know the moves. If it's a combination, if it's a combination, it's all in, in like one move. If it's like a pump handle plus a power slam plus a driver. Michinoku pump handle like pump handle Michinoku driver so was that shit but um yeah that happened with the cruiserweights uh the women had their segments Charlotte looks good and I mean Charlotte looks fucking good oh shit okay um yeah I what I heard though what Sasha Banks and Bailey had their segment and I'm just sitting there I'm like okay. So what's going on? They're just talking. And then Beatty was like, oh, you're going to have your main event match with Charlotte. I'm like, nigga, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? This is happening? What? I look it up. It's happening. Raw main event. Charlotte versus Sasha. I'm like, okay. Okay. Are they trying to, like, feed themselves up? Are they trying to gas themselves? Hey, we made the women main event raw for the first time in over, what, uh, 12 years. Yeah, like, huh? I mean, when I see, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, okay, they deserve this. No doubt in my mind, they deserve a main event spot on Monday Night Raw. But, if it's a match that we're sick and tired of, Jesus Christ, I mean, when it was Lita and Trish, we actually, we actually hated Trish. We're like, yeah, she's hot, Teddy, she looks fantastic, you know, all that. She looked good. But, she was a true bitch. Like, Stephanie McMahon type. Like, you know? Like, she was the Stephanie McMahon, like, female wrestler. Of the women's division. Like not like a, an authority figure. She was the wrestler version of Stephanie McMahon. That's how Trish was. That's why Lita was like the, the savior for us. And like Lita beat up Trish. Almost broke her neck with that outside dive. And won the title from Trish on Monday Night Raw. That was epic. This today 12 years later. It's a match that we've seen for the past three months. We are sick and tired of it. End it. Like I, I, like I said, I said it in my podcast, which I will be doing this Thursday uh, or Friday, whichever one. Um, on my podcast uh, yesterday, I said that Sasha Banks need. To turn heel if she wins the women's title tonight. And she did. I hope, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, God, wrestling gods, not Vince McMahon. He's no, he's no God, not JBL. All right, wrestling God, listen to me, please. I beg, all right? I, amongst every other wrestling fan that's sick of this, can we please have a Sasha Banks heel turn? Sasha Banks as a baby face with her wig and her baldness. We're sick and tired of it. The people have hyped her up too much to a point where I can't take it anymore. Like, seriously, I can't. Like, I, I see uh, the, 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 just the hype. It's like, oh, she's the best. She's high. This and I'm like, she's not the best in the world. That woman I keep preaching about from Lucha Underground, she is the best in the world to me. Because seriously, 
if you can hang with the dudes in the ring, that's a different style. That's a whole new level. They need to bring that back in WWE if you want us to be serious. Enough with this crap. They need to be serious. Like I said in my podcast yesterday, they need to be serious with the women. They have to put them in grueling matches where the women are willing to destroy each other just to get that main championship of the division. Seriously. I mean, I'm tired of one-on-ones, triple threat, six-packs, uh, fatal four-way matches. Like, seriously. Hell in the Cell, Steel Cage, Extreme Rules. We need these shits. Ladder matches. I recorded... Uh, my WrestleMania Universe mode, which will come out this Sunday on the on YouTube, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, right? The same day as No Mercy. I made a fatal four-way tables, ladders, and chairs match because I've ended this Monday Night Raw has the women's and SmackDown has the Divas title. No, I ended that. We're having a V WWE Women's Wrestling World Champion. That's what we're having at WrestleMania in my universe mode. That's what we should have. You know? A fatal, like a a match. They always they always say how all the women are on the same level as the superstars, the male wrestlers. No, they're not. If they are, they would compete in Hell in a Cell, ladder matches, TLC matches, tables matches. What was the last time we've seen a tables match? I say the last time we saw a tables match was with Beth Phoenix and Natalia against, I believe, Kelly Kelly and E. Torres at tables, ladders, and chairs. And no, 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 actually, no, no, no. It was not two thousand. It's not two thousand eleven. Two thousand ten. Natalia and Beth Phoenix against Michelle McCool and and Layla. Lay Cool and Beth Phoenix and and Natalia competed in a tag team tables match. That's what I'm talking about. They need to be serious. I'm sick of this one on one triple threat six pack fatal four matches. They need to be serious. Add some stipulations. Get chairs in this bitch and bang it on their backs and just kick ass. Not just sit back and try to use, oh, I'm a woman. I shouldn't be in this situation. Um, I'm precious types. No, no. If they're on the same level as the superstars, they need to get dirty. They need to be serious. They need to be taken seriously. All I'm seeing for the past month with Raw is Sasha and Charlotte. I get it. They only have five women on the roster actively because Paige is injured. She just finished with her fiasco with WWE when it comes to legal terms. And Summer Rae is injured also. So we have five active. Alicia Fox, Nia Jax, Sasha Banks, Charlotte and Bayley and Dana Brooke, I guess. Six. We have six active. Okay. So. Like. Ah. Uh, just God. Uh, so yeah. Let me get to my favorite part of the show. Jericho. Like I said. Jericho. Ashton Kutcher. That, that's the one time I'll allow celebrity. You know. If they're going to be hilarious. Be hilarious. If they're not going to be funny. Get off my TV. Or get off my laptop screen. How about that. So. Yeah, uh, Ashton Kutcher and that other guy with the beard, the short guy, and Jericho and Kevin Owens and the New Day later on, or early before that, they were hilarious. I preach that shit. Those, that was hilarious. That segment was just funny. All right, Jericho with his list. He's like, Xavier Woods, you know what's gonna happen? Woods is like, no, no, please. God almighty, no, no. And then Jericho's like, you know what's gonna happen? You're on the list. <laughs> and then he just writes out the list. All new day members. And Xavier Woods twice is on the list. Ashton Kutcher and the other guy's on the list. And the fans are on the list. I love Jericho. Sadly, he might be leaving after Hell in the Cell for Fozzie. I don't know. But he's leaving... Around this late last late this year, early next year, suppose that. But um, and the tag team matches Rollins cost Jericho and Owens a chance to become champions. 
uh, or number one contenders for those tag team titles. And like Rollins' pedigree, Jericho, I hate it when people put their knee up when they sell the pedigree. Kane is the worst to sell when it comes to like face planting maneuvers because he raises his knee. I hate that. He bends over his head, but he raises his knee. I hate that shit so much. But, um,. Yeah, that was Monday Night Raw review. That's my review. Tonight's show was decent. I st I think it's good because of the Jericho and and the New Day and the Seth Rollins and and yeah, just and that that segment alone made Monday Night Raw my night. And Enzo and Cash did their thing with the survivors, with the women and stuff. You know, stuff like that. I mean, that that, that was cool. Uh, they're champions for surviving breast cancer. Uh, they're champions, in my opinion. But uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about Monday Night Raw tonight? Did you watch it at all? Do you care? What do you think? Leave your comments down below, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe tomorrow for SmackDown review. All right, guys, like, subscribe for the mentor, the app boy, went to the gym, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out later.